Look, I uh, realize I'm I'm not doing a real good job of, of explaining this, but Victoria came to see me, and uh, I uh, haven't really been able to digest it yet myself. Chip is my son. What? I know. I couldn't believe it myself at first, but that's the way it is. Chip is my son. I'm sorry. It's a great... I was trying to think of some easy way to say it, but I... Given the situation, it just... Well, there is no easy way. How do you feel about this? I don't know yet. I mean, on, on the one hand, I, um, I kind of, I feel, I don't know how I feel. It was the last thing I expected to hear. Did you suspect that it was your baby? Well, I did at one time. You, re you remember when, I mean, he did come nine months after that episode at the, uh, at the lighthouse, but. She did a great job at the time of convincing me that my suspicions were groundless. If she's kept it a secret all this time, why would she bring it up now? He's sick. He's, he's real sick. He's in the hospital. He needs a bone marrow transplant. And since it has to come from a close blood relative, there was nothing she could do. She had, she had no choice but to tell me. Well, this couldn't have been easy for her. I'm sure it was quite difficult. She said she didn't want to do it. She she doesn't want to do anything that would cause problems for us at this point in time. And I, I do believe her when she says that. I don't know. Obviously, it's better that everything's out in the open. Right? Yeah. Obviously, your son needs your help. Victoria, I don't think we can risk waiting any longer. You have to call Cruz. Wait, is Chip worse? He's a tough little guy. He's holding his own. But the sooner we initiate the marrow transfer, the better his chances will be. I also need you to sign some consent forms. It's probably the hospital. Hello? Uh, uh, Eden, uh, this is Victoria. Is Cruz there? I need to speak to him right away, please. Yes, he's right here. It's Victoria. How's Chip doing? Uh, Scott wants you to come to the hospital right away. He's going to go ahead with the transplant. Okay. I'm on my way. i got to get down to the hospital right now. I'm going to do it. I'll change. I'll come with you. I love you. I know you do. Where is Tori? She's with Chip. Good, Cruz, you're here. Right. Look, I don't mean to rush you, buddy, but we're running out of time. So if you have any questions about this procedure... No, I'm ready to do it. Let's go. All right, let's get you prepped. Okay, I'll see you in a little while. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. It's nothing to... You want to tell her what you told me about this? He's in no danger, Eden, at all. It's a very simple procedure. He may feel a little discomfort, but in a few days he'll be just as good as new. Can I come see you when you're done? Yeah, you better. Let's go. I don't know what to say to you. I'm sorry, I didn't know anything about this. And I know how I feel. I can only imagine how you feel. I'm sure this hasn't been easy for you. 
No, it hasn't. I think the hardest part has been facing all of you. <sighs> Did everybody know about this? Were we the only two that were left in the dark? Oh, darling, we, we were not trying to keep you in the dark. What we were trying to do was protect you. Daddy, I don't understand that. What did everybody think they were protecting me from? each other all night. How could I have been so blind? Aiden, Bill. No, really. Do, do you think I saw it? Do you think I saw it and, and I didn't want to see it? Did you marry Victoria to protect me? Do you hate me, Mason? I don't know what to say. I don't either. I'm the one that hid the truth from you. Oh, me. All I've done all my whole life is lecture you about being the black sheep of the family. I've given unsolicited advice to you and, and Victoria. And then you try to do something for me, something really big. Hey. You're my sister. I love you. It's that simple. I might, may not be prone to endless terms of endearment, but there is nothing in the world that I wouldn't do for you. Look at what you, you gave up. What you did for me. And I know how much you love Chip. And now that Cruz knows, can you give him up? Well, I'll tell you, Eden, I've been sort of negotiating with God to make sure Chip comes out of this all right. In his infinite wisdom, he may exact a higher price than I'm expecting to pay. That's what it takes. That's what I'll do. I'm going to go find Julia. Somehow secrets always have a way of coming out. I think I understand why you did it. You know, in my worst fantasies, I played this scene hundreds of times, but the fantasy was never like this. I know what this has cost you. I have my son. And when we get through this, maybe we can go. I'll go on with our lives. Not too hot anymore, but I think you could use this. Well, caffeine, thank you. Mind if I sit with you for a while? Mm-mm. Can't stand this waiting. I mean, patience was never my long suit, you know that. Honey, I owe you an apology. Apology accepted. 
Although I do think you should talk to Cruz. And we both know that it was our interest you had at heart. It was, you know. I... It was unnecessary, Daddy. You, of all people, know what Cruz and I shared. You should trust that. I was afraid you'd be hurt. It was an instinct bred out of many years of habit and many years of love. I'm not 16 anymore. You don't need to protect me in that way. I'm trying to understand this. I am an old student in a new school. I am just now learning so much, not just from you, but from all my children, how wonderful and good and strong you are. Do you know how difficult it is for a father to accept that he's not needed anymore? I mean, not in the same way. Look, how do you have to allow me this? No matter how old you get, no matter how many children you raise, you're going to have to accept the fact that deep in my heart, I'm going to still think of you as my little girl. Hi. I came as soon as I heard. It's going to be all right, baby. It really is. Yeah. Well. Eden, you can go see Cruz now. Is he all right? He's a little tired, but he'll survive. Great. Mama? No. You go ahead. We'll talk later. Okay. okay. Thanks, Scott. Dr. Clark. I don't have anything to say to you, Mr. I would Cameron. like to try to explain what's happening. Save it, drunk. Your apology's 25 years too late. the transport. Tell me. I don't know. It's selfish. I want you to pull through just like you do. I know that. I had just wanted to be the one to give you your first child. I wanted it to be special for both of us. And now we'll never be able to share that. 